This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the Awesome Cast episode 454, apparently. Uh, we're here from the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. Some wonderful days here in Beachview this week. Uh, with us, of course, um, from Studio D or Chilla Office 1.0, where he literally just um, uh, at least attempted uh, to turn on his podcast lights with Siri. Which the, technically the 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 power got flipped on. Uh, so so Siri was not the failure. Siri was not the failure. So my I have like a light bar, mm-hmm. and the light bar has like a one of those figure eight looking power connectors into it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. The, 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 like the the I can't remember what the name of the tech. It's, it's it has a name, like the one that goes into the PlayStation or something. Yeah, or in the back of your Xbox, yeah. kind of. Yeah. So it, it has that, and it must have slipped out of the side of the light bar. So mm-hmm. the power actually tripped because I heard it go click, mm-hmm. but the light wasn't actually plugged into the power cable. So I had to stand up and plug it in. Well, you know, you can't win them all. Uh, but John Chichilla, uh, uh when he's not uh, trying to get his office to to submit to his will, uh, is a is a tech guru over at Big Bank International Esquire. Uh, so this is your awesome cast. You can check out everything at awesomecast.com. Uh, email us at awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com if you want to join us here in the studio. Uh, I'm very lonely today because everybody's here digitally. I think I have one guest for the Mayhem show later. Um, or if you are interested in any advertising opportunities with this show to get out to our audience, you can always hit us up Awesome Cast on Twitter and the Awesome Cast Facebook page and wonderful Facebook group where we uh, uh, share stories throughout the week. You guys share stories. We have stuff uh, that we'll be sharing later in the show, your awesome things and such. I know we have at least one submitted awesome thing of the week that I'm very excited about and we actually brought up recently uh, here on the show again. Um, you can also subscribe and rate us on your favorite podcast app and watch video versions on facebook and youtube i let's give a call because we haven't gotten a lot of um i don't know like itunes is is scary not rated unless somebody wants to have a phone call with me about their new podcast service apparently um but <laughs> please uh drop some ratings in there let's uh spruce up uh, the itunes over there even if you don't listen to us on itunes uh, most of you have access to that look up the awesome cast give us a star rating please and uh that definitely helps us get in front of more eyeballs out there as well you can also ask Ask your Siri HomePod, a Google Home, uh, or Google Music Pod. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Amazon Echo. I'm reading things in the wrong order. Uh, all your things. If it lists your voice, it plays some podcasts. The awesome cast should be there. Uh, you may have to uh, tell it to uh, listen to your tune in or, or, or something, uh, you know, in, in, in Echo skills or something like that. Um, it's chilly. I actually play with it because my one podcast I listen to. I, I listen on on my phone through the podcast app, and uh, and and I did ask Google Home to play that podcast and then skip ahead to the time where I left off on the other podcast, and it worked pretty good. Very nice. So that was kind of a nice little hack thing that I discovered today. I'm using more and more on my Google Home uh, as well. Oh, and I think I just changed my awesome thing of the week. Now I'm thinking of it. <laughs> um, anyways. I, we're here live every Tuesday, figuring out technology with all you guys at 7 p.m. Eastern time on that Awesome Cast Facebook page. And if you're catching us later or on one of the other outlets, um, please hit us up on Twitter with a hashtag AC454 uh, so we can continue the conversation for this. If you're just like, hey, I don't think I don't think you you. One, stop saying the A word because you're waking up my, my, my person and uh, <laughs> and everything like that. Also, if you're listening over on our streaming partners, RiversEdgePGH.com and the405Media.com, and where they carry us, go check your local listings on those sites. 
Um, also, thank you to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Uh, our friends at the Coffee Club $5 level, that gets some extra gold. We talk a little bit about deep dive, some automation, and things with Chilla every once in a while. Matt Weller, John Dickey DeGore, and John Carmen, and our longest supporter at the Fan of the Show $1 level, Michael Fedor. Uh, thank you, everybody. Again, patreon.com slash awesomecast. The fact that uh, a few of you guys are actually chipping in for the show is really appreciated. And, uh, and 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 shows that we're we're doing something important. If you guys are gonna uh, chip in for that, so um, I guess since you do have your awesome thing prepared, and it kind of goes into what we were just talking about, um, tell me about Google Nest and Home Nub. Home Nub. Home Hub. Home Nub. You know what? There's no nub. There's, no, it's, there's... A, it's a nub now. Where's my it's Home nub. nub? It's just it's just a little like thumb sized. <laughs> Yeah, device. it's a little dongle thing, you know, home nub dongle. So, so um, I think I reviewed the Google Pixel 3a um, a while ago, a couple, a month ago or so. One of the things that when you ordered the Pixel at launch, you actually got, and you kept it for, I think it was 90 days, um, mm-hmm. you got a $100 credit. Um, at the same time that Amazon launched their Show Five, mm-hmm. Google ran a deal for a knocking for forty five fifty five dollars off of the Home Hub, which I can't I can't figure it out. Is it the Home Hub or is it the Nest Hub or is it just um, a, combine them and it's the Home Nub? Where it's I'm telling you, hub. man. I'm telling you, I'm gonna make this a thing. Um, so with the hundred dollar credit and the, the amount off the, the home hub, I think it was down to $75. Mm. So I cashed in my hundred dollar store credit <laughs> and got myself a free home nub. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you. It's pretty, it's pretty impressive. I actually like the kind of the clock screen. That's the, that's uh, I mean, you can pick from a couple different clocks. There's like the, the old flip style clock. There's an analog clock. There's a number of them, but it's pretty cool the way that the camera on it, um, and there you can't use it for video conferencing. I guess it's not really a camera. It's more of a light sensor. Mm-hmm. Picks up the ambient light in the room and then auto adjusts the brightness. And in a dark room, it it makes it pretty darn dark. So it's not going to blind you or keep you up at night. Um, the responsiveness of the Google Assistant is great. Um, I, it was interesting to, much like the Alexa-type devices, um, you use the Home app to set things up. Um, and because while I own an Android, multiple Android devices, it's not my necessarily daily driver, so I didn't have as many of the Home automation type stuff set up on there but as soon as i start started logging into the apps the home hub found the accounts and then i could control any of my lights i could see my cameras i could control numerous things the only thing obviously i can't control is my um ring doorbell or my ring home security which was kind of a bummer but I can use it to see all the cameras. I can use it to adjust any of my lights. The one thing I like about theirs a little better than Amazon's, to be quite honest. Um, they have in their touchscreen menuing the ability to go in room by room mm-hmm. and see all of the accessible home equipment in that room and adjust lights. Um, they provide a very nice UI to... Um, dimming dimming lights or dimming lights up or down um turning things on or off um they did a very good job with the interface from a from a hey i don't want to use my voice i just want to touch the screen Mm -hmm. as well as the voice pieces um it also i liked the way they took you through the set like uh, how they do the setup and say, Hey, do you have any of these services? And they list them out. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you do, which ones do you want to add? 
um, I thought was much easier than trying to figure out the Alexa skills portion. Oh, I didn't say hey. Oh, that's true. No, no. I think you can just say the A word. Oh, I think you're right. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So from the A-Train perspective, mm-hmm. um, I feel like having to scroll through all those skills and try to search and pick and find between major manufacturers and third parties that may have built a skill for certain equipment, um, I just found the Google um, set up a little easier, mm-hmm. which su- kind of surprised me. Um, but I will say that the list is much, much, much shorter of equipment that it is compatible with or that it ties into. So fortunately, when I purchased any of the, the stuff I purchased, I made sure that it was compatible with all three major vendors. Right. So no problems there. Oh, the other thing I thought it was interesting is it becomes a Chromecast endpoint. Really? Yeah, so I can cast to it. So I didn't. I I know I can cast YouTube, can, and I know I can say, "Hey, okay, you know who?" Yeah. Um, so so launch YouTube, can, but it becomes a castable endpoint, which I thought was super interesting. So I I, I mentioned off air that I'm kind of discovering more Google Home things that only make sense. Um, um, one of those that goes along with your thing, um, I realized that you know I have two Google Homes and a Chromecast here in the studio, right? Um, mm-hmm. I, and a lot of times, uh, I listen to the Spider-Man, uh, into the Spider-Verse soundtrack a lot. And one time I accidentally didn't say soundtrack and it actually started playing it on the TV. Then I realized, <laughs> oh, all those movies I've been buying digitally, like the, you know, disc and digital and put them in movies anywhere. And they're like on all the things mm-hmm. that includes Google play movies. So yes, I've just been randomly asking Google home to play, Captain Marvel, Iron Man three, uh, <laughs> you know. When you know, you know, um, movies anywhere. It was it was a couple months ago, I think. Added the Microsoft mm-hmm, mm-hmm. movies. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, so uh, about Xbox a, too, about a week can... ago, I booted up my Xbox three hundred and sixty to see if those movies were there. Uh, they are. Um, only thing is, every special feature is an individual listing. Oh, nice! It is very bad. <laughs> um, also, if you look in your um, Google, I'm sorry, your uh, Microsoft Store on on Windows 10, because I actually mm-hmm. um, reinstalled a, a fresh Windows 10 installation here and was checking stuff out that I had that belonged to that account, and it was, it, it's just as ugly in there too. Like here's here's blooper reel from Iron Man 3. It's you know it's it's bad. It's pretty bad. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that was that was kind of a fun discovery there. That that end, um, calling up a podcast I'm listening to on my phone. And telling it to jump, skip ahead to like fifty-five minutes because that's where I left off on my phone. And my phone's uh, Apple, so it's not gonna, <laughs> cor- you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna connect with that. And it was like, well, I'll just listen to the rest of the podcast in the studio on the whole thing. You know, it's kind of a nice, nice thing you can do. So yeah, um, you have to. We'll, we'll have to do an uh, an additional topic. So I have a Google Home. Mm-hmm. Um, it's sitting right here. Yeah, look at that. But but I haven't found a good use for it. I think we have a third, I, have, I think we have a third one somewhere. Just put it there, and then you can ask it things. You can Google search. That uh, that alone is strong because A Train and Siri don't know Jack. Don't know Jack. It's interesting. So somewhere around here, and now I really now I'm really interested in this just, whole theory. Just plug it in and start 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 Cause, voice cause, googling it, man. Because I ha- but I have one of these, and somewhere I have a Chromecast too. Hmm. So I'm guessing the two paired together plugged into the TV behind me could create kind of an interesting experience. Yeah, yeah. You can be you can be on the now, show and be like, hey, G-Man, um, play uh, Iron Man 2, and it just, like, pops up behind uh, you, you know? You could do a this, lot of things. You, you can just, like, you can just, like, like, like cue stuff. It'll be, it'll be great, you know? You, you just have such a more dynamic <laughs> setup over there. But Now you're going to be really wondering, like, what did I do with that? I think I'm... I, it's the version two that's kind of like the circular. Yeah, yeah, we got one of those thing. 
It's um, not. I don't think it's the 4K well, one. Well, I might have. I might have a version. One. Actually, I might have a second version two hanging around too. I, 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 I have a version have, one as well. I don't have enough HD TVs, and I don't have a wireless network at home. So it's like, what do I do with it? So, anyways, um, okay. So, so I have a couple. First of all, sub awesome thing of the week, Doctor Mario World. I'm a week in and a hundred stages later. That's impressive. How so? You're a week. <laughs> I'm playing in. it all the time. <laughs> I was gonna say, how many? How do they keep track of like how much time you've played? Like, I uh, screen time probably does. Screen time. Like, what's your dedication? At I'm this point? really concerned because it's, let's see if I let's see you can do the pullover. I have it on my screen, and uh, let's see, I'm actually ten minutes below average on my screen time today, which is funny considering how much I was playing Doctor Mario while I was waiting for my my meeting at the coffee shop. I, I play it. I, I don't know how long I play it before I go to bed. I, I, I play it and then pass out. And, and you, you fall asleep and, and it, like your phone's on your chest. Yeah, a little bit of this might be happening too. So, you know, I mean, the, it's that kind of thing. Just but, be careful if you play with your play on your iPad because <laughs> there, have, there, uh, there have been a few times where I have been playing certain games as I'm uh, in, in bed falling asleep and I fall asleep and the Smack iPad you. smacks me in the forehead. Yeah, that's so. usually that's usually watching like Bojack Horseman or something. I think, oh, I should probably get it. Okay. <laughs> um, but the awesome thing of the week, I, I was, um, you know, again, kind of trying to affect some personal change in my life here and there. And, and, and a lot of times that includes, you know, setting reminders and, and finding apps can help me. I mean, just the awareness factor, right? Like I, I've had sleep watch since I've had my Apple uh, watch and, uh, and and just the awareness of what my, my sleep patterns are looking like it's like let me know hey you had really bad sleep last night i'm like yes because the cat finally came out after 10 days with without my wife and decided to sleep on me and bug me and 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 i had to throw him from the bed a couple of times not in the like he's landing on his feet as a cat get, get over it uh, anyways um so uh i love uh, uh missy found the i found an article to go along with this uh dr mario world is live and is my new summer addiction yes mine too um, but no, I, so I, I wanted to do some change and, and I was like, okay, well let's, let's, let's start here. Let's do some calorie counting. And I remember like back in the day when daily burn first came out and everything, I think, we, I think both Missy and I were trying those and, uh, and it was just a pain in the butt, right? Like nothing was in there. You couldn't just, you know, pull stuff up and it's, it's, it's further along the databases are better. You know, these apps have competed with each other. So I wanted to see what was up. So I put a word out, you know, Hey, I'm looking for a, you know, a, a food tracker app. Right. And, uh, the one that I heard the most and from professional wrestlers, I know. So double thumbs up on that was my fitness pal. Um, it's, it's pretty standard what you'd expect here. I got, you can see a little, uh, a bit here if you guys are with me on the screen here um and I say the biggest thing is having that calorie counting uh mechanism to it and and, and kind of just, again having that awareness and and telling me you know how i'm doing you know log the weight in there uh it, it, it you know it asks you some questions about like you know what is your job are you sitting at the desk all day um and it is also i believe if i bump in here to get to the right place here this also does pay attention to what your Apple Watch is doing. So, oh, very nice. So it, it tells you how many extra calories you've earned for, for walking around, and it has a 10,000 steps, uh, uh, you know, segment on it. So it's been super easy. For the most part, everything's been in there. Like, I want a Taco Bell Chalupa. It's in there. I want a Sheets Burrito. It's in there, right? I know. I'm, does, I'm, does it have a barcode scanner? Yes, it does. For Okay. So yes. I'm going to, I'm going to have to let, so I was, I did Weight Watchers mm -hmm. um, and that was the deciding factor to go there. And then I hit my target weight and maintained it mm -hmm. um, and then left. And then I've put on a couple of those pounds back, but that was to me what made the difference of my weight loss app mm -hmm. journey. Cause I didn't do like the go to the meetings and, and whatnot what made the difference for me was the barcode scanner. And when I went food shopping, I wouldn't buy anything that was too many points kind of, kind of deal. So by not having that in the house, then I did, wasn't anywhere to eat. So, and, and one thing I haven't explored, I'm, I've done a week with this and uh, I, 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 I'm realizing now I didn't look at much at the uh, watch app. 
and the watch app has a pretty good like i have i have just like your goals for calories carbs fat protein um i can quick add water on my on the on the watch app i can quick add just calories for breakfast lunch or dinner on here apparently uh let's see you got your nutrients for the day and you got your step counter for the day and of course it is you know ten thousand steps versus i think the i think the um uh your your circles are more calorie based based on just motion in general uh if you're on your apple watch is that correct there's there's the three you mean the three rings the three rings you know i'm thinking the red one so but. you have the moon yeah the move ring is based on just mm-hmm. walking around so it's a uh, my fitness pal and uh i even signed up like there, there's supposedly uh, so i have the, the month trial I, I probably won't stick around with it because it's like 10 bucks a month um but supposedly it will also give you and even like the, the people i talked to said that they don't pay for it um they said ah, i should probably should probably make it easier to do stuff but um but generally like it's been pretty pretty good with this i don't know what i'll lose after after the trial or anything like that but it is does like you can say hey um I'm having this food at this time, and supposedly it's going to tell me what having uh, certain foods at certain times of day are doing to me. Oh, so that, that's at least that's a promise that it has. So, uh, from that, Podner says move is calories and not steps related. Right? Isn't there right. isn't there a step one though? There's well, a way there, to pull up your there, steps. I think there's there. steps when you go look to. There's the sit up, like the yeah. sit up. Or stand up ring. There's know, a stand up that. ring, but that's not steps. That's kind of that's kind of different. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why you know I get a lot of I, I get a lot of calorie counts just from like driving around and at my desk and stuff because I'm moving my hands a lot, right? So, I don't know. well, speaking of calories and something I just logged in my fitness pal, I have a nice little uh, segment. I figured out what it is for a slice from our good friends at Slice on Broadway. I know exactly how many slices of the most delicious pizza in uh, South Pittsburgh uh, uh, is. Uh, you can, and they've been supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with uh, the perfect pepperoni pizza for a good long time here, from their first location in Beachview, right up the street from us, uh, to their other locations in Carnegie, PA, the East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, thank you so much for those guys for uh, uh, supporting the show and feeding our guests. Um, I, I have a guest later. It's not. It's just not me with a whole pizza here. I swear, guys. It's not. Never just feel lonely and sad, and that's just not the case. Um, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with that if if that was your plan. Oh, there's everything wrong with that when I'm trying to be healthier. Uh, uh, that's true. <laughs> uh, let's see. Partner saying uh, move is calories, not steps related. Steps are counted as you. And you can view them. I think when you go in the health app, I think it's going to tell you too. So, but that's all in there. Um, but again, it's good to just kind of know, oh, I'm doing this, but I'm only getting like 3,000 steps. But I filled my ring. I don't know what that means. Hey, guys, I uh, want to give a shout out to our friend uh, Chachi at ChachiSays.wordpress.com. Or he does have a domain at TheGameJourney.com. And, uh, of course, we, you know, we talked about it briefly last week. But uh, he is a good 10 games in, and he is uh, through Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, and Blast Corpse deep into the N64 on his, uh, on, his, uh, on his path to 1,001 games. Oh, no, I didn't plug in the right one. Hold on a second. There. Did oh. you... Is, there is, an, is he... Does it only count if he like completes the game, like finishes it end no, to no, end? No, 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 or it's no. It's just it, it, it's just played them. He's just okay. it, they're just reviews. It's not okay. beat them. That'd be crazy, crazy. Um, but no, go check that out at one thousand. I'm sorry, thegamejourney.com to see what Chachi's up to there uh, for the video games. So that's good. And I, and I know there's been a lot of discussion, and it's been. Um, um, getting some people's uh, uh, memories going, jogging their memories for those games as well. So go check that out. Uh, we have a lot of stories here from you guys over at the Awesome Cast Facebook group, of course. So I'm trying to find my plug so I can plug in my phone again so it doesn't die and I can keep in your chat room. Uh, Riz shares, of course, Nintendo unveils a cheaper, smaller Switch Lite compact all-in-one and it does not have um, detachable Joy-Cons. Also, it does not attach to your TV in any mechanism either. So if you just want that pure mobile experience that's a little smaller, um, th- it's only $200 for this thing. I, I like the idea personally. I think it's a great idea, especially 
the size difference di- differential, I, I'd be interested to see what it would be like to stand up on the train to play it. Mm-hmm. Um, I do feel like the existing device is a little wide mm-hmm. and I feel like the PlayStation Vita was a little thick. Okay. And the screen, the the screen on to me on the Vita wasn't big enough. I'll be interested to see how this plays, especially um, games like the Marvel Alliance three is coming out. I think that's going to be awesome. Right. Um, I'm interested to see do they come out with some extra special colors or special edition colors? I, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, it doesn't give you the the way to kind of attach different color Joy Cons. But um, the other thing that kind of bummed me out, though, was the there are games that are that require the Joy-Con, mm-hmm. so you can sync your Joy-Con with the device and use them. Obviously, you have to carry them separately. But there are certain games that aren't going to be out of the box compatible with with the device, mm-hmm. which I think is could could cause some confusion and frustration among parents. That's true. That's true. Um, speaking of games, Matt Weller also shared with us. He uh, Google Stadia has uh, had more launch details coming out, and apparently this was a big, uh, as the headlines are saying here over on Inverse, uh, a massive disappointment for gamers. Uh, and I'll read. I'll read uh, uh, Matt's word on this as well um as soon as i can get back over to it he says uh limited release is disappointing uh but can somebody explain oh let me explain that as well um apparently in this this was i thought explained uh in their launch announcement i mean their initial announcement um they're gonna be on the pixel 3 exclusively as far as phones go no tablets um on your chromecast and and pcs uh, now, Matt saying uh, the limited release is disappointing, but can I ex- someone explain to me how it works with Chromecast? I haven't looked at that one uh, at the one in my son's room much, but my understanding is that Chromecast was a pass-through device, like an antenna or something to pass from a Google device or app, and it doesn't run the apps on its own. The article says Sadia will work on all Chromecasts at launch, but if my understanding is ab- uh, above is correct, uh, that's not true. If you don't have a Pixel phone, what am I missing? Um, so my understanding is that it will work via Chromecast. And the way Chromecast works, it's not entirely a pass-through. When, when, it, when a Chromecast takes over, it is running its own version of a Netflix app. Yeah, because so. you, can, you can walk away, right? Like, you can shut your phone off. Mm-hmm. You, can, you can fire up a movie, mm-hmm. and, and you can leave the house, and that movie's going to keep playing. Yeah. So there is some kind of... It's not streaming from the internet to the phone to the Chromecast. It, it's, it's almost like the device sends a signal to the Chromecast to say, "Go here and start streaming this." Mm-hmm. Is the way, the way I've I've had it, I've seen it, um, which is why I don't understand why Google doesn't make a minor UI and Chromecast remote where someone doesn't have to trigger the actual stream to start. Mm-hmm. It's always been kind of my, my gripe with the Chromecast was I want a menu and I don't want to have to go launch an app on another device to mm-hmm. then kick so, off the stream. So ideally, um, because the controller, as, as we mentioned before, is actually going to be connected directly on Wi-Fi to the server, correct? So uh, my thinking would be you activate the controller, it finds a Chromecast, fires it up, and there will be a UI for Stadia that kicks on, right? Right. Instead of you having to do that through through some other app or something. Um, now, this is interesting. So actually, I'm getting more out of this personally um, because this is telling me how um, uh, apparently Stadia will work with all Chromecasts. I'm presuming version two and up um, mm-hmm. because uh, I, my understanding was the Chromecast Ultra would have been exclusive for it, but I guess that's just for 4K play. I don't need 4K because I don't have a 4K TV. So if it just works on that, plus it'll work in all, br- all browsers that support Chrome on computers and uh, and Chrome OS. They were saying no tablet support, uh, but it, it eventually, you know, Chrome OS tablets uh, will will have support. Uh, as it goes so yeah all laptops using chrome all tvs with a chromecast so so while device wise phone wise it's kind of weird and i think that's a very selective thing 
because you know how many things have they put on like hey this is only exclusive to like this pixel number but it's like an ar thing that any of them could probably do and i actually yeah i loaded the someone ported the camera app yeah to a number of other devices um so I actually have the Pixel camera mm-hmm. on my Galaxy Note. Now you kind of have to sideload the the extra stuff. Where like I remember how we did the Iron Man thing and all, all those when we reviewed the Pixel. Mm-hmm. Um, you kind of have to sideload those those <laughs> UI elements or those VR elements separately. Mm-hmm. Um, but it works works pretty well. That's awesome. So also going ar here for a moment uh dave Ponder shared uh july 16th is the 50th anniversary of the launch of apollo 11 uh this app allows you to view the rocket in an augmented reality now i did well let's see if i have if, if it carried over here i did load this up uh off of the store I have way too many pages. And it's JFK Moonshot is the app, if you want to check it out. And if we get in here, let's see, it's loading up. I'm going to allow it to do things. And we get a nice little video of JFK playing. Oh, no, I can't skip this. Oh, no, I can't skip this. Okay. All right. Some video, some video stuff going on. Oh, the moonshot. Let's see what I can do here. I want to begin my mission. Okay. All right. Live demos are fun. Let's see what comes 50 years. We will fulfill. Oh, there's a lot of text. Oh, there's a lot of text to get to anything. Launch the Saturn V rocket. Track it. Okay, I understand. Get me to something happen. No, no, stop giving me text and make something happen. <laughs> Come on, guys. Something there's a full scale. Da, 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 da. Yep, 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 yep. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not going to your museum. <laughs> Moving ahead. All right, we're going to allow it to use the camera. Continue. And now, let's see, scan to place rocket at your current location. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's just put it there. Oh, yeah, there's a rocket in the studio, you guys. <laughs> it's on my desk. Can you can you rotate around it? Does it look pretty um, good? Yeah. I mean, I can't go too far because I'm, to, I'm attached to the setup here. But yeah, there's, a, there's touch points on here. And yeah, okay. So you got to unlock all of the. Oh, oh! There's a video that pops up that's floating in my studio right now. This is pretty cool, actually. Oh, we can tap to launch the rocket. Let's see what happens now. It's gonna go through my. It's gonna go through my ceiling. Oh, there it goes. It's a uh, try walking around the model. Get closer to zoom in on it. I'm actually severely close right now. And there it goes. And my landlord's going to be pissed. What happens when it hits the ceiling? I don't know. Maybe my ceiling is the stratosphere. Yeah. There it goes. All right. That was fun for the uh, audio people out there. Uh, just imagine that in your head. But <laughs> so it's JFK Moonshot, and you also can have fun with that out there, too. Um <laughs> So uh, th- th- that's that's fun. I, again, I, I got to see the Apollo Eleven uh, movie that they they made with all like the restored footage from from before, and that was a really really cool. It's too bad Dutters didn't make it here uh, this week, Chilla. I, I think she's still on assignment, um, um, uh, checking out those uh, uh, VR den chairs in Germany. I think probably <laughs> she's she's probably trapped in one of them. She's trapped in one. We should probably send help. Uh, but uh, Ponders uh, says uh, CES is going to be more, uh, quote, interesting uh, next year. Uh, the group behind the show for CES will uh, is, is opening it up to sex tech products, and they're also going to more strictly enforce this dress code as part of a wider state of diversity-related announcements that they've put out there. So CES now uh, getting a little risque. I, you know what? I don't even know what that – I don't want to know what that is. Well, that they have to do. So didn't – didn't someone win best of show for some kind of erotica toy, and then they took it back off of them? What did it have to do something? With- something, and then they banned the, that type of technology from the show. Oh, I thought there was. I thought there was a big hubba baloo like, about like this. Hubba baloo. 
Yeah. Hubba Baloo. Hubba Baloo. I don't even know what age that makes you using terminology like that. <laughs> the whippersnappers at the CES conference. The whippersnappers at CES. <laughs> the the causing the all the hubba Baloo. Thirty to forty year old CES event. Jeez. Um. So it was brought up just a couple weeks ago. Uh. The the uh, VR flight that we that was out at the airport. I didn't get a chance to try. Is that the that's the one where you were like the bird? Yeah. Or uh, Brian Crawford, uh, his awesome thing of the week was the Jurassic Flight VR simulator at National Aviary. Apparently, got a software upgrade. It's a, a VR experience. You fly as a pterosaur through a, the Jurassic period and uh, right past several dinosaurs. That's awesome. So the, apparently, they updated it. It looks like it looks like a very similar setup. Um, and uh, this is shared via PGH Museums on Facebook. If you want to check that out, uh, but it's. Uh, but yeah, you get you, you you and you're flying. You 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 have your hands on on kind of a uh, uh, wing devices that that you're, you're motioning and flying with and everything. And uh, you have a uh, you know looks like probably an Oculus or or maybe a Vive. Oh, that's super cool. Mm-hmm. And you got to, notice the fan in front of yeah. you to give you the feeling of flying as well, and also keep you from your face sweating from those VR units. Yeah, well, the old the old one was more of like a a glider with your arms out you didn't actually have to flap yeah, I your wings I, yeah I, I don't remember much of that that movement so they may have updated that too so um that'll be that's really interesting so i, I love the aviary is doing something like different different like that right <laughs> so uh but go check those out those are shared of course over on the awesome cast facebook page all of those stories you can com- comment and share what you would like to as well uh hey you know i love talking about stuff that's in our neighborhood chilla i mean you drive you you take a train through here every day chilla you get to see beach beach view and how it's changing i do and because i ride on the back of the train it's like i stop right at your studio every oh morning. <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> you're just like feet from my studio mm-hmm. way before i woke up um <laughs> every day uh well i want to give a shout out to friends at sparkle dragons sparkle dragons magical emporium whether you're looking for a custom handcrafted gift or something to soothe your soul sparkle dragons magical emporium has you covered sure you can stop uh, uh by their website at sparkledragon.com but if you're in the area like chilla is Every day, hop off that train, Chilla, and get yourself some incense. <laughs> and uh, nothing beats a nice cup of tea and a chat with Joyce, uh, one of our friends here in the neighborhood. So go check them out, sparkledragon.com. All right, Chilla, what do you want to talk about here? What do you want? What's on the back of the book here for this? Um, um, you're, you're warning me about my Windows updates for one thing. So yeah, from what I was, and I briefly. And can I mention? Can I mention again? Your this, this is a computer I recovered that uh, Ch- Chilla is joining us on. Uh, hopefully, he's a little less choppy than before. Everything looks pretty silky smooth, from what I can tell here. Um, the Windows 10 install uh, uh, experience is a delight these days. I don't know if you've done it recently. <laughs> so, but so just the regular update process? No, no. I'm talking about installing from scratch off of a USB oh, key. Oh, off of a USB key. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I have done Cortana, that. Cortana it, it introduced herself to me. It was great. I almost left her on, then didn't. She's becoming her own app, I think, in the next... Uh, yeah, I think she is, too. Although, although I realize I should throw A-Train on this, too, so I can just th- yell A-Train commands over the studio. That'll be good, because I can actually, if, if we did that, I can do A-Train commands in through the board with you on it you wouldn't be able to hear them because I, I cancel you out but 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 that's something we could do anyways sorry so 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 uh, uh proceed with your warning sir so it sounds like so for those who aren't aware there's an 18 month service life for the windows home and pro versions okay um so that means the april 2018 update um, is going to reach end of life November 12th of this year. Okay. Um, and they're going to start forced update processing for Home and Pro editions to help ensure adequate time for a smooth update process. Okay. Which there was problems with last fall's update. If we remember, I think it was deleting files. Yes, scary problems that make me not want to ever <laughs> let Windows update on its own. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I did double check, and um, I, I I am on the uh, 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 eight oh three 
of of this. And now I have now I'm wondering 1803. 1803, yes. And uh this was installed on 525-2018. So that's yeah, probably, so that means that you're that you're that version that's so, going end of life in November. So I'm end of life. Now I have manually disabled, like I went in and changed code to disable Windows Update. It was like hacking a Gibson. I hacked the Gibson, and uh, uh, Pendulette was there, and uh, uh, you hacked the Gibson. Um, you know, I, I, yeah, I might have been playing hackers at the time. Um, but uh, so, so is it going to overtake the settings? That's so I can't. We have not. This is unconfirmed. This is unconfirmed. Well, it's Mary Jo Foley on all about Microsoft well, like, that's talking about it. But what, yeah. they, what they don't explain is if you've modified to to a, in an attempt to never get an update, um, will this somehow trigger anyway? Are you getting any kind of security updates or anything? No, I'm not getting anything. I'm I'm okay. Uh, then you I'm this probably off. won't affect but, you. The, but right. here's here will be an interesting question. Have you ever have have you ever gotten to, and that maybe this is what'll happen? It'll start dis- disabling capabilities. Oh jeez, really? <laughs> yeah, it's like you 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 are running an unsupported version of of Windows. Well, I don't know what. It, well, please update also, now. Also, so we're talking about the studio computer, and the studio computer is mostly untouched. I mean, it touches the internet, so Chrome is updating. Right, because that's the only thing that goes to the internet, and and it's but, it's running our switcher software. It's running a, a Wirecast a seven, which I think they're up to maybe twelve or thirteen now. Um, it's running uh, again. I opened Chrome to set up the Facebook. That's it. That's all we do. I do not think I need to get updates on this. Plus, if I get an update, it may kill the software that works on it now that does not have support anymore itself, right? Like, I mean, this is kind of the stasis of, like, when I visited the uh, 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 sound studio. You're going to find a sound studio with with uh, 10 versions back of Mac OS, but it works with that board kind of situation. But, but Microsoft has a plan for you. You're no! To, no! They do. You're supposed, you're supposed to be on the long-term servicing branch, which has a 10-year no-need-to-update. So I have to plan. pay them... To not receive their updates. In theory. I'll be interesting. To, <laughs> talk to me on November 13th, 2019, and let me know how you're doing. The only reason, because I'm, I'm trying hold to remember. On second. I, hold I, on a I, second. Hold on a second. I got to set something. Um, hold on. Hold on. I want to It'd be that. funny if it disabled like all your USB ports. What was that something. date? So, what was that date? November 13th, 2019. Well, the, the end on. of life, end of service date is November 12th. Set reminder for end of service date for Studio Windows version on November 12th, 2019. There's my reminder. There's a reminder. End of service date uh, for Studio Windows version. We're going to find out what's going to happen. I'm also going to look- come back and say, you should have bought a Mac. Yeah. <laughs> I should have bought a Mac. It's usually the answer. Um, anyways, we'll watch out for that and see what's what's going on there. Whatever will happen. What, what the, uh, wait, hold on a second. Um, what day of the week is November 12th, 2019? It's probably a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday! <laughs> oh, man. That's going to be a fun episode. Um, hey, I know I, I got my first person that said they already uh, uninstalled their Harry Potter game. Oh really? And of and this is a said because they were frustrated, or they well, just lost interest. This is the per. This is also the person who is now building a Lego Hogwarts. Wait, what? To show you what level of a fan they are, and they deleted Harry Potter because uh, it was not interesting. Hmm. But don't worry, because your Pokemon is still getting updates, guys. Upgraded Pokemon Go battles will have you swiping on the screen. So that is going to happen. Uh, we're they're still pushing updates for that. We are going to get uh, that. Plus, we're also going to get Team Rocket in the game. If you are a What's fan, What's Team Rocket? Team Rocket was from the show. Oh, I never watched. The ones the show. had Meowth. I think they were the. I think they were part of the first games on the Game Boy or something. Oh, they, we're talking about the versus battles too, more so. So, so here, and maybe the, maybe I'm just. I know versus battle too life. too open into you, you know you, you know, know games because so I've 
I really like Pokemon Go. Mm-hmm. Um, I never played a Pokemon game on Game Boy oh, or yeah. on anything. <laughs> um, Your world I, is Pokemon Go, and that's it, right? I never, I never and watched the cartoon. Did you watch watch Detective? I Pikachu? never played the card game. What about Detective Pikachu? You're gonna watch I've, that, right? I have not seen Detective Pikachu. You should, but I, but I enjoy the game, and, and I probably that 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 I would probably sit down on a, on a Friday evening and 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 take that in. Get that red but, box. Yeah, but I'm never like I've never played. I've never played the game. I'm actually from the Poke because I can swap the characters between the ga- the Switch game. Mm-hmm. There was some interest. Like if I could pick up a cheap used copy, I might. Um, but yeah, I've I've never done any of that stuff okay. in the Pokemon universe. But it's it, it's enough for you, right? Like is it, it, uh, Pokemon Go? I love it. Like I, I yeah. play every day. Yeah, I I fell I fell I, I keep falling in and out of it. So, yeah. Oh. But even when you fall out of it, I feel like when you jump back in, it's not like you. Yeah, it's not hard. It's just like, oh wait, yeah. where was I? Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm getting my streaks again, and it's congratulating me, and I'm still collecting things because it's attached to my Apple Watch. All right, all right. Um, speaking of which, Niantic, who uh, is doing both the, the the Wizarding World, Harry Potter, and Pokemon Go and Ingress, they are shutting down their very first app, which was Field Trip. This is something that attached to, and Niantic was a, I think it's a is a spinoff of Google, if I recall. I know we went over this before, um, but and and you can kind of tell this is the kind of thing where it got like the locations that are now Poke Stops and whatever that is in whatever game you're in. Um, so so they're shutting down Field Trip. Field Trip was a cool app uh, back in the day with, uh, I thought it was great with Google Glass because you would go around, get a little notification, and it would pop up like historical information about where you're at. So I would be driving around or you know, walking around with it, like say downtown, and you know, like whenever, whenever there's like a placard of like you know George Washington was here or something, uh, especially downtown, uh, it, it was stuff like that, right? Like, hey, here's a clock that da 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 da, da you know. Uh, it was kind of cool to to kind of learn a little bit about locations around you just being around it. And of course, there was an app version on the on your iPhone and Android uh, that 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 also gave you notifications, but. Um, it, it, that's, that's just one of those, uh, uh, sorry to see it go. It was, it was kind of somewhat revolutionary at the time when it came out. Yeah, it was interesting because what I found was cool about it is cause it, to me, it took it one step further than just the, the typical placard landmarks. And there's those, the, the odd shaped sign landmarks. Um, like I, I remember like stumbling up across a couple areas downtown where it said, Oh, this movie, this scene in this movie was filmed yeah, here. Or yeah. and I thought that kind of stuff was really cool because you're you're not going to get that from a typical landmark marker. No, no, absolutely not. Uh, some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, the, again, more Google. Waze has a new toll calculator to make it easier for you to plan your trip. Could have used this one. Uh, <laughs> of course, I'm Easy Pass, so you know. But it's kind of nice. It would be kind of nice to say, "Hey, you're going to spend twenty dollars on toes on this." To- toes tolls on this trip so uh, you have to give all t- all 20 of your toes all 20 of your to- all 20 of your toes what <laughs> you, you you need an extra passenger uh-huh it's like it's like a built-in H- hov uh so yeah so that's part of it yeah when you get it and there's then there's there's a toll it'll pop up and let you know the estimation on your on the tolls so that is pretty cool. I, I, I know you can easily turn on and off toll roads. Sometimes I'll turn off toll roads if I'm in an area that I think there might be some to make sure I don't like try to, you know, accidentally take a toll road with my rent a car that I haven't really uh, went in for my easy pass, whatever. And they are going to pay you. They're going to charge you through the nose if you went through one of those gates. Right. You know, especially not anymore. You, not anymore. If you go through the easy pass lane mm-hmm. and you don't have an easy pass. Yeah, what about it? Because you know, there's no more toll takers, right? Well, yeah, but I'm. But if you do, you then you you signed up for the service on your rent a car. If you go through one, oh. so if I was reading correctly on Hertz, if you go through one toll plaza, you just activated your Easy Pass or tolls or whatever for the entire trip, and you're now getting charged a fee every day of your rental. What? Yes. Well, be, but how does that work though? Because in in Pennsylvania, there's the 
there are no more. And, and if no, you no, didn't well, have if, an easy pass, it takes a picture of the license plate and no, sends you a bill. No, no, not, not everywhere. The Turnpike still has tickets in cash. No. I believe they do. If you go for if you go through like I'm, cranberry for the cran yeah okay. There's no more. No. There's no more toll taker. They had them. I swear they had them when I came. Have you been there in the last two months? Maybe I'm thinking Ohio. Yeah, I have. Been oh, through. oh, I have. Ohio, been through. Ohio has still has tickets and cash, and Maybe New York still has Ohio. tickets and cash. I went through Ohio. I went through New York. Pennsylvania has none. No, because the whole thing is is now oh. they they take a picture of your license plate yeah, and yeah. mail you the bill. I know they have this on three seventy six uh, between uh, Newcastle and, and Chippewa. We're getting very local, guys. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I yeah, but, but again, I, I'm thinking about like there's the one toll plaza, and I don't even see the plaza because I go through the big archway thing mm-hmm. with my Easy Pass. Like when you come back through and they charge you seven bucks for return to Pennsylvania, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> and all the you're right, all the rest of my stuff has been through Ohio Turnpike and up through um, like uh, Buffalo area, up uh, yeah. up ninety. So you're right, I, I have not seen other than that potential one. And the other one, now wait, we when we went to the Connellsville just last week, I swear they still have cash because it was cash or Easy Pass. No, I bet they're not. Never mind. I think you're right. I think they are toll tag now. Uh, down yeah. down forty three. Anyways. Anyways, I'll hey, we'll find out this weekend because we have some trips to do uh, in those directions. So, uh, anyways, what the hell is next? Do I, have, do I have another story in here? Did you buy anything on Prime? No, Prime Day. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing I'm that. Not, there, I'm, it, not, I'm not buying stuff. In the, it's been sending me messages. Hey, we think you'd be into this thing. I was like, hey, you know what? Amazon just sent me my cat litter scooper and shut up, okay? I like when it sends sends me the you'd be interested in this thing and, and yeah I was definitely interest, tr- interested in it because I bought it last week. Yeah, they're pretty bad with that. Um, the one of them I just did. Uh, there's a couple today. Uh, they were okay. There were actually a couple today that looked kind of interesting, but like nothing I was would buy on a whim, right? Mm-hmm. Like uh, hold on. Oh, they're still in here actually. So Tokyo Ghost Deluxe Edition. What is that? A comic book? The hell. One was like a, a Wonder Woman art book. I'm like this, they're so, they're so strange. Oh wait, audio splitter. But that's not even a Prime Day thing. That's just the thing that happened to be in my in my wish list. I don't know. There's a twenty two hundred dollars Samsung QLED TV on sale for nine hundred bucks. I don't need a TV. I I don't it's need. It's sixty five inches of four K. Sixty five inches of four K. Didn't you read the article about how four K is BS? That's not true. The movies aren't even you're aren't even producing them in four K. That's the movies. There's TV. Uh, there's there's Blu rays. <laughs> it's Blu rays. Wait, Blu ray isn't isn't four K. Depends on the. It depends on what you're getting. If you get like the Ultra HD or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Well, this this iRig this iRig uh, adapter is only twenty nine ninety six. Nope, 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 nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. Um, jeez. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh oh, something's going weird. What? I just got a weird pop up with FaceTime. One last thing, Virgin Orbits. Yes, Virgin Air as also has a Virgin Orbit. They did their first rocket drop test, and it was uh, it was successful. A real a real launch could happen uh, before summer is over. I believe they are dropping it from a uh, 747, and and ideally these rockets could then go uh, orbital from there, right? Um, but uh, but the the fun point from this is uh, the aircraft, the Boeing 747 in use, was named Cosmic Girl. Cosmic Girl? What's Cosmic that from? Girl. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just a uh I think it's just their name. Their their cheeky name that they're gonna use with Virgin Galactic Virgin Virgin Orbit. Um oh uh so so actually there's a difference. Let me let me let me clarify this. I'm just noticing in the Engadget article. Uh unlike Virgin Galactic, the uh Virgin Orbit team isn't carrying crude crude vessels into space. Um this this is just the rockets and payloads and delivery, apparently. So there's a whole different between them. Virgin expects to charge between 10 to 15 million per flight. 
which is a bargain compared to other aircraft-based launches and many conventional rockets. You got to think, you, you, how much fuel are you saving, you know, doing it from up there instead of from the ground. So mm-hmm. it makes a lot of sense. Oh, geez. And you know what also makes a lot of sense? We do a lot of uh, uh, production here, including this one here at Sorgatron Media Studios, but also tucked here in the back of Sorgatron Media Studios is Sidekick Media Services, from sporting events to music video production to conferences and everywhere in between. The team at Sidekick Media Services has you covered as a sidekick to your superhero project. What next big thing can we help you with? You can find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Our team is all over the place. I know uh, uh, members of our team putting together videos for podcasts, uh, helping put together websites, visiting some of our clients on the West Coast currently, and uh, just a lot of podcast work today, at least on my plate, and so much more. Uh, check out everything at SidekickMediaServices.com. Find out what else we do around here that's uh, awesome outside of the awesome cast there, and uh, if we can help you with your superhero project, we can be your sidekick. Uh, so with that, Mr. Chilla... Yes. You're at chillatech.net. John's chill on the Facebook, chill on the Twitter. I'm trying to think chill a photo maybe on the Instagram. Mm-hmm. I've been trying to pick up and get more into, into Instagram, at least from a opening up the app and scrolling <laughs> through stuff. You're like me with LinkedIn. Like, <laughs> I, I, the, 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 yeah, Instagram was one of those ones that was kind of shoveled into the photos folder mm-hmm. and rarely touched because I could just post to Facebook and say, yeah, post this to But it's so Instagram much more too. than photos right now. Yeah, I don't get into that, though, like the TV. I and- do. I do. Dude, we're dropping our, our, our videos for, like, oh, our match clips that we're putting on YouTube and Facebook are now going on in IGTV because the integration is pretty nice and some people are watching through there. So it's, it's been pretty cool. A lot of those communities for wrestling's on there. So, so. I it, it's it's you know and you got to prune it right like you got to follow mm-hmm. the right things and 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 it's pretty cool and I I, I try not to follow like uh, people that are just reposting using it as a mechanism to repost memes it's just like no that's not what this is for you know so but you should get into the TikToks the TikToks I was you know I appreciated this weekend there was a return of uh, one of my favorite announcers to work with uh, Church over the uh, RWA in West Newton. And he was he was always the 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 media inducing Twitter tweeting, and he had a few other monikers. So he hasn't been around for like nine months, um, and and now he's the TikToking as well. Added to TikToking it. is like a an easy hole to go down because you can just kind of keep scrolling, and it's See, I have not, short clips. I, I've not done that. Some of the wrestlers have been getting into it, but I just have not. I I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. Like I don't know what that what that audience is. I, I don't know what to fiddle with with it. Oh, it's just kids. It's the whippersnappers. Yeah, which also is like, am I just is it just me hanging out with a bunch of kids on an app? That just sounds illegal. No, <laughs> no, it because it's not real time. No, I don't know. I I, I I'm pr- it's to me it's pretty impressive with some of the stuff that people come up with, and with like the kind of making it look like a magic trick or doing something interesting mm-hmm. I, I don't know I, I i find it fascinating the kind of like low-key special effects people try to pull off mm. with kind of stop motion video yeah yeah we'll see we'll see um, maybe 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 that'll be my thing do i have it installed on here yet because i did and i feel like i deleted it well we'll find out that yet well, it's no yik yak but it's no yik yak so I think that that got decommed a while ago. Yeah, I think. it did a lot. And we're still running the, the we we're, were running some of the classic Yik Yak, Yik Yak videos on the um, the uh, uh, Sorgatron Media replay feed lately. I and I'm wondering if anybody's noticed. So <laughs> you know, and all the feed it pops up for like you know a minute and a half, right? Mm-hmm. When we have like two and a half hours of comic book pit or something, right? So uh, Sorgatron on the tweets as well. Please hit me up over there, and uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. We're doing uh, two wrestling productions this weekend, and uh, one the Jet Set and Limousine flying. Wait, that's not right. Uh, <laughs> producer Missy <laughs> is uh, is set to return, so uh, we'll we'll have. Uh, We'll have fun with her coming back, and I'm sure she's going to tell me everything I've done wrong 
uh, on this show in the last two weeks without her. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, for everybody in the chat room, including I saw Dave Potter hanging out in there, uh, among others. Thank you so much for supporting the show. We'll see you guys next time. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.